Be sure to share, like, subscribe, and comment down below and turn on notifications by clicking on that bell icon. Bombshell, a group of wealthy donors paid $50 million to help fund the Trump-Russia investigation. A bombshell was revealed in the House Intel panel's much-anticipated Trump-Russia report, which was released Friday morning. A group of wealthy donors shelled out $50 million to fund the Trump-Russia investigation, according to a footnote in the Russia report. Now, a group of about 7 to 10 wealthy donors from California, Silicon Valley, and New York spent $50 million to fund the Trump or Russia investigation conducted by none other than Christopher Steele, Fusion GPS, and former staffer for Dem, uh, Dem Senator Diana or Diane Feinstein named Daniel Jones. Now, Christopher Steele, a former British spy, was hired by Fusion GPS to conduct oppo research on Donald Trump. Steele then compiled a 35-page dossier from a series of memos he penned alleging Trump commissioned help from Russia in order to win the presidential election. Now, Hillary Clinton's camp and the DNC also helped fund the dossier. The Russia dossier is a complete garbage and has not been verified to this date, yet Mueller is using it to conduct his investigation into Trump's campaign. Now, the dossier failed to propel Hillary Clinton into the White House, however. Now, Chuck Ross of the Daily Caller exclusively reports this. He says, The House report states that in March of 2017, Jones told the FBI about a project he is working on with steel and fusion GPS that is being funded to the tune of $50 million by 7 to 10 wealthy donors from New York and California. Now, in late March of 2017, Jones met with the FBI regarding PQG, which he described as exposing foreign influence in Western election, reads the committee's report. Now, a name which is redacted, told the FBI that PQG was being funded by 7 to 10 wealthy donors located primarily in New York and California who provided approximately $50 million. Again, a name which is redacted, further stated that the PQG had secured the services of Steele, his associates, which another name is redacted, and Fusion GPS to continue exposing, exposing Russian interference in the 2016 U.S. presidential election reads the report, which adds that Jones planned to share the information he obtained with policymakers and with the press. Now, Jones also offered to provide PQG's entire holdings to the FBI, the report says. The report cites a transcript on of an interview that Jones gave to the FBI. The transcript is known as FD-302. It's dated March 28th of 2017. Now, the Federalist first reported in February a former staffer for, uh, for Dem Democrat Senator Dianne Feinstein, Daniel Jones, was working with Fusion GPS. Who else was Daniel Jones talking to? Top, Dem top Democratic Senator Mark Warner, yes, the same Mark Warner, who tried to create a back channel with Christopher Steele via Adam Waldman, a lobbyist for the Russian oligarch Oleg uh, Derpa uh, Deripaska. Now, Fox News first obtained text messages between Senator Warren and Adam Walden discussing setting up a private meeting with Christopher Steele. According to additional text messages obtained by the Daily Caller, Daniel Jones was also communicating with lobbyist Adam Waldman in March of 2017, and they ultimately met in person. Now, the Daily Caller also reports that Waldman met with Jones on March 16th of 2017. During that meeting, Waldman says that Jones revealed that he is working with Fusion GPS. Jones also said that a group of Silicon Valley billionaires and George Soros were funding the project with Fusion GPS, according to Waldman, who testified to the Senate Intelligence Panel on November 3rd. Now, the money and efforts spent to prevent Donald Trump from becoming president is outstanding. Soros, Obama, and Hillary are the root of this attempted coup with the help of the weaponized intel and law enforcement agencies. Now, the wheels have been turning to remove Trump from office before he was even sworn in on Inauguration Day. So be sure to share, like, subscribe, and comment down below and tell me how you feel about this report. But other than that, I hope you guys have a great day. Let's make America great again. Peace.